Hi. This video is going to be about how to upgrade your cartridge. You might have bought a second-hand turntable, you might have gotten your father's old turntable, you might have a newer turntable around where you want to upgrade the cartridge. And this video is going to show you that this is in fact not a difficult task to do, it's pretty easy. And for an, as an example, we have a turntable here where you have an OM5 E mounted already. This OM5 E is mounted on really a lot of turntables out there, so it's very common that you will come across a turntable with that, and that we would recommend that you could upgrade to a 2M Red. I will come back to the 2M Red in, in a moment. What we need to do now is, of course, to figure out how to take the old cartridge off and put the new one on. For this upgrade from the OM5E to the 2M Red, the task is very easy because they have basically the same size, uh, so it's an easy thing to do. Even, but you don't have to worry even if your cartridge is a different one. They are all sort of made the same way with a body and at the end you have four terminal pins where you connect the wires from the tone arm and then you will have two screws to keep the cartridge into place. So this is about taking the wires off, taking the screws out, fitting the new cartridge and then adjusting the vertical tracking force. I'll come back to that. I will not go into all the details about a setup of the cartridge of the 2M Red because we have a video out there on our web where you can see details about how to set up a 2M Red cartridge. But I'll show you the very basic things. So first thing I'll do now is to remove the head shell wires. If we're talking about a turntable which is not too old, then you can almost be sure that the wires, the head shell wires, are color coded. And then this is a very easy thing to do. Then you just take off the wires because the cartridge we're going to mount, the 2M Red, also has color coding. So that is very easy. If we are talking about an older turntable, then the wires might not be color coded and the cartridge itself might not be color coded either. So there you have to take a little bit more care. But at the back of the cartridge, you will normally have an R for right and an L for left. So please note which wires goes where. And the right, that is red and green, if we are talking about the color coding and left, that is white and blue. So red plus right and white, that is plus left. So I will, uh, it, normally you will have the color coding, but beware if you don't. I will now take off the head shell wires. Uh, they are pretty fragile. We have a thin wire. If the wires are old, if this old turntable, they might be even more fragile. Use a pair of tweezers, use some kind of needle-nosed plier. You can even try to use your hand, but definitely I would prefer if you would use some kind of tweezer. I would take the wires one by one and take them off and be aware only to grab the solid part, not the wire itself. So I will grab, I'm grabbing this black part easily, take them off one by one making sure I'm not really destroying anything. And now the last one, like this. So now they're just hanging there, they are color coded, so this is the easy one. Now we have two screws to get out. The screws that this one is mounted with is sort of going through the cartridge and there's a nut at the end. So we cannot just screw them off, we need a plier just to hold the, the nut at the end. And then I will release the screw like this. And then I'll go to the other side and I'll do the same thing over here. So it's about really getting it off like this and this. And then we still have the, the last one left over here. So I would like to take that one off as well. Yes, this screw is a little bit more tricky to get out, but just uh, keep on going, then you will get it out at the end. They may have been sitting there for a long time. So, but I got it off like this. This we don't need anymore because the screws that we're going to need for the 2M Red, they are supplied with the 2M Red and they are not as long as these ones. So, so when you have to, to, to exchange the cartridge, be aware of that you might not be able to use the same screws. So I'll put this one 
away. And let's take the 2M red, open the box. And when we see it, then I will explain a little bit about the difference between the two cartridges. It's a, um, um, let me see, get it out. So, 2M red, OM5. They look very different. And, and don't worry about that. So when you are having a cartridge on a, an old turntable or even a newer one you want to exchange to a new one, the, the, the shape itself does not really matter. Because as I said, they are very commonly built. So we have those four pins at the end. You have two holes at the top to be mounted on the head shell. And, and this is common for all the cartridges. So the shape that th this is small and sort of pointy and this is more like a diamond, that does not matter. It will fit, no problem. Um, this one, the 2M Red, compared to the OM5E, will give you an improved sound quality. You, you will have a better sound out of this. This housing is made out of better material. It's uh, vibration free. Um, the, the inside you would have what we call split pole pins, which would result in a better high frequency response, more resolution. And also the rubber suspension in the cartridge is a different one. So all in all, you would have some very substantial upgrade from the OM5E, giving you a better sound quality. So therefore it's a worthy upgrade. I'll put it here uh, because we need something else from the box. I need to find something in the bottom of the box because there we have a few things. And the most important thing that we would need now would be the screws. But let's have a look what it is. There's a screwdriver. Okay, we can use that. I already have one. I used it to dismount the OM5. There's a stylus brush. This might come in handy because this old turntable you have bought or uh, whatever you have inherited from, the, from your dad, you might not have a stylus brush. You have now supplied together with the 2M red. And then there's some screws, two short ones and two long ones. Which screw to use depends on the tone arm where you're going to mount it. If the tone arm is very thick or if the head shell where you're going to mount the cartridge is very thick, you might need the long ones. If it's thinner, you would like to use the short ones. The way to check out which one to use is to put it in and then you look at the bottom and see, oh, this is sticking nicely through, then I can use that one. I don't want to use the long one then. I want to use the short ones, those screws. And then if you look at the back end, as I told you, we have this color coding. So you can see again, uh, red, white, blue and green. Okay, you cannot see the green is covered by a ground connection, but you have the color coding. So now it's just a question about taking the wires, connecting them. So let's do that. So, and again, I prefer these tweezers. You could use other tools. And again, don't hold on the wire. Very thin, very fragile. If the turntable then it's old, then it might be even more fragile. So be careful, never on the wire. So that easy for wires. And then I now need to get it mounted on the head shell. So I need to find where the screws can go in and I'll use my screwdriver so like this. So now we are mounting the first one. I'm not tightening it totally. I'm tightening it slightly. And now the next one also. Let's get it into the threaded hole. Th you can see this, this is more easy to mount. You don't need the nut at the end. You have threaded holes at the top of the cartridge, so you can just put a screw in from the top. It's a little bit more fiddly to use a screw like this where you have a nut at the end. And where to place it? There are some long holes here that will be in many head shells. A good place to, to put it is in the middle of the long holes. And if you have noticed where the old cartridge has been mounted, you can use that as a starting point also. And in fact, this was mounted in the middle. But anyhow, the middle position would always be a good place to start. If you want to figure out if this is the correct position, then again, please go to our more detailed setup video that you can find on our web, setup of the 2M Red. Then we will explain to you 
how to determine if this position on the head shell is correct. Now, it's mounted. We now need to check out if the tracking force is correct. Tracking force is how hard the stylus is pressing on the record while we are playing. And then we need to consult this little book. In this booklet, there are some data for this different 2M cartridges, 2M red here. And there it says tracking force recommended 1.8 grams, fine. This is what we're going to do. I will take off stylus guard. Well, we do this adjustment because this has some weight. We don't want to have this to interfere. And then I will do some balancing of the tone arm. Let's see what happens now. Now it's really heavy on the front end, much too heavy. I want to balance it so that it's floating. I'll now take it further back. Let me see. Now it's floating. If I take it too far back, it goes up. That's too far. I go more forward, a little bit too much. This is what I would call floating. So this is where we would have zero tracking force. Put it out here. And then I'll grab the rear part of the counterweight, adjust the front part, which is a dial to zero. Now it's still floating. And then I will just turn this one to have the tracking force 1.8 gram. So 1.8, it says here. Okay, mounted, tracking force, okay. The last thing, this small thing is a weight that need to be put on here. And this is for something called anti-skating. Um, again, anti-skating is something you can learn more about if you look at our more detailed setup videos. But this is about the forces in this direction of the record while we are playing music. So we have to put it on there. Now we are in fact ready. So we have replaced OM5E, taking off the screws. We have taken off the head shell wires. We have unpacked 2M red, mounted it, head shell wires on, adjusted tracking force according to the user guide, putting back anti-skating. So at this point, we are in fact already ready to play some records. An easy upgrade, but very worthy. You will have superior sound quality of the 2M Red compared to the OM5. So as you can see, upgrading your cartridge is not really a complicated task. We have made some very simple things and we are already now ready to use our new cartridge on the turntable. This is a very easy way to upgrade the sound quality of your turntable. If you have an old turntable or even if you have a newer turntable, when you go to a better cartridge, you are upgrading the turntable as a whole. So you will get better sound quality. So thank you for watching this. I hope this was helpful for you.